on um, the Black London series by Kate St. Kittredge. And this series um, is different being that it's based in London. And practically every series I read, it's always based in um, America. So it's kind of nice for a change to read about a book in London. And um, anyway, this series is a it's strange in that um, like the overall premise of the books wasn't really the thing that excited me about the series. It's the two main characters because besides some very minor secondary characters, it just revolves around these two people most of the time. And there's three books so far, and the fourth one I think is out in November. Um, yeah, so I have the info anyway it's popping up around here somewhere. Um, okay, so it's about a girl called Pete. I hate the name, but she. Um, she kind of dabbled in a bit of magic, like unknown to her. She has this kind of affinity for magic. And there are kind of fey and random creatures in there. Um, and sorcerers, that's the main thing. And she kind of, she was kind of friends with a sorcerer when she was 16 and he disappeared. And then it's like 20 years later or something like that. Or no, not 20 years later, a few years later. And he kind of turns up again and turns the world upside down. Um, so... Yeah, it's mostly about sorcerers and magic, and these two people. Pete, she's tough, and a bit too foul-mouthed at times for me. Um, but I like how pure and innocent she is to all the kind of sorcerers and magic users around her. And um, it adds a bit of vulnerability to a really kind of hard, hard shell person. I also like the fact that she's tiny. Apparently they say she's really petite. And, um, because usually characters in books are all really tall, so I like that she's kind of cute. Because I am. Um, and the other person in the series is Jack, who is a sorcerer and who returns after all these years. And he's really down and out of his luck, you know, he's like a drug user at the beginning, and, um, she finds him. And, like, her devotion and utter faith in Jack is baffling at times. Because he's such a lowly, kind of pathetic character, and he's really hard to sympathise with at times as well. Um, so, like, she just stays with him through everything. I didn't like how badly he treated her sometimes, like in um, start of book one and bits of book three. Um, yeah, but them as characters are kind of fascinating because he's so messed up, and she sticks with him, and she kind of has her own issues too. And yeah, just the two of these. People, they're, they're kind of, um, they're good characters to read about. For the first time ever, I didn't mind the second book switch point of view because the first book was from Pete's point of view and the second book is from Jack's. And I was really, you know, interested to see what his opinion of Pete was and how, what he was really thinking. And, um, yeah, so I enjoyed reading from his point of view. And the third book was from Pete's point of view again. And the fourth one, I don't know, it could be from either. Um, Something happened at the end of the third book, which makes me really excited for the fourth one. Um, the first book when I read it, I wasn't like really, really excited. I thought it was good. Um, and then the second book was good, and then they travelled to some other country, and it kind of got a bit confusing there. And the third book then got really good again, um, and I'm really excited for the fourth one. Um, I have to say, sometimes the storylines got a little confusing, because there's so many kind of evil gods in it. There's like a devil and there's a Morgan the Crow God or something and um and some details were kind of unclear at times. So the storytelling was a bit kind of erratic. But I mean it was interesting, but I do think the best thing I suppose is the two main characters and what they get up to. Um so yeah, I do recommend this series. I think it's a bit different and there's some it's really kind of a kind of dark and kind of um er, definitely kind of an urban series and like these two characters put through lots so yeah definitely is dark not the most lighthearted series um but i enjoy them and i'm really looking forward to the next one um so yeah they're recommended okay so now i'm moving on to more spoiler filled review so if you don't know any spoilers please switch off now okay so as i said um yeah, Jack at times is kind of pathetic and um, yeah, it's hard to believe, you know, Pete sits with them and she quits her job and everything and um, yeah, but they have this kind of endearing thing between them and I liked 
from the second book when we, we when we read from his point of view that we really do find out he cares about her and I love those parts where he does care about her. Jack, he's kind of a funny one in that like even when you know he doesn't have a plan he always comes up with something and he acts kind of nonchalant all the time but you know like he would like kill anyone who hurt Pete so I kind of like the element to him um, like he acts all kind of aloof but you know he can turn serious like that um, so yeah, so Jack's affection for Pete was kind of up and down at times and I much prefer it when it was kind of up and you got to see how much he um, cared about her. As I said, I didn't like the book one and the second one when I travelled to like, I can't remember, like Bangkok or Thailand or somewhere like that. Kind of went a bit confusing there. And also, but what happened to, you know, to Jack originally when Pete was around, or Pete was around 16? That remained kind of fuzzy and unclear to me throughout as well. They never fully explicitly explained what happened. And also his death at the end of the, the second book was kind of unclear a bit as well. Um, but, I mean, they were kind of minor things. Overall, I was engaged in the story. So in the third book, I thought it was really, really good. And I just kept waiting for Jack to come back into it. Because I knew he was going to come back from the dead or whatever. And when he did, it just got better. Um, I didn't like sometimes how they glossed over injuries. I don't like authors do that. Um, but anyway, um, and at the end of the third book we find out that Pete is pregnant. I kind of predicted that would happen, but I was really excited about this and I can't wait to read the next book about how um, they both deal with that, particularly Jack. And although I read you know, the description of the fourth book and um, look it up, I'll have the link. But they don't mention anything about Pete being pregnant. And like they better, the author better like use this in the in the fourth book and not like say, oh, she lost the baby or something awful like that. Um, yeah, so I hope that's used in the next book. But yeah, um, like I started off thinking the series is okay, and then I gradually got to like it. There's something like the will about it. And yeah, it is kind of dark with damaged characters, but um, it's good. So the author just needs to control the plot a little more. And um, and make it like even more action packed, and get rid of those kind of unnecessary characters. There's a couple in there, and um, yeah, and I'm just like the series is better than average, but it's not ten out of ten. So I hope the next book, you know, just amps it up and gets even better. And um, I'm looking forward to it. So that's my review. Thank you very much for watching, and let me know what you think about it in the comments.